Testing, testing. I need to definitely cut that down. Cut that down. Mike cut that down. Cut that down. Cut that down. Let's see. Cut that down. All right. Raw dog in the house. What's going on with you? <laughs> Hello from the other side. Hello. 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 Is it me you're looking for? So Steve you said you could house. battle. You said you could battle Silk the Shocker, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we about to play Silk the Shocker's clip. Okay. Are we really about to do this? We about to do this. I'm scared. All right. Don't give me a reason to. I was just breezing through. I could have snatched your girl up. And man, she was easy too. But I let her go for the record's sake. And um, and while I'm here, let me get the record straight. Tore off the hook. I had to throw on some extra dates. Ain't none to me. Treat the mansion like a section eight. Had to go and cop the new ghost. Come with some extra space. And I'll make what Denzel make. You make what the extras make. So now we just heard his clip. All right. We just heard his clip. Mm-hmm. What you got for him, J Rock? Yeah. Yo, yo, oh, oh, oh. You want me to uh, yeah. my right, right now? Yeah, my, yeah. Right my, now? My, my okay. writing? He's pulling okay. out his nice. phone. Okay, okay. He got no. some written lyrics. Come on, Sway. Don't, <laughs> don't knock my phone away. Don't knock my phone away. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, what's up? What's up? You know, I put the daddy mic, said put to the do it better mouth. than do it the worst. You know what I'm saying? I freestyle hard like a Cleveland Brown curse. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. One uh, bar. What? One mic. Right. One onesie. <laughs> what? <laughs> one onesie. <laughs> one, one onesie. One sock. I have never heard a rapper throw that in their freestyle. <laughs> one <you>? onesie? <laughs> That's all I got. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. We should end it right there. Yeah, sir. we should. Can I start the show now? Please start the show. I, you, you, Are you, you done? You got another done, bar. Jay? Half a bar? No, I got I got heat for the rest of the show. You know, I don't, don't want to give it the rest. Okay. Snicker bar. Right you got a snicker bar? <laughs> no, man. I got I got them flaming hot bars. You know Whatever. What I'm okay. You Nylon ain't, bars. You ain't Kevin Hart. Okay. Welcome in to another Barbershop 918. You're in here with your man, Big Drew, J-Rock. Word. Okay. And the one and only Raw Dog. All right. So today, in, uh, we got a lot of good stuff for you. We're going to talk about college football. Last week, somebody was real passionate about their team, and we're going to hear about that. Also, we got a couple of top fives coming at you because, as you know, somebody in here is cold with it when it comes I'm to the I'm cold top. with the top five. I keep okay. telling you that every week. Okay. And so, let's see. We're going to talk about, we're going to do a review on the movie Creed. Yes, sir. All right. And after the movie, movie Creed movie. review, we're going to have a special guest in studio. I can't wait. It's the first time for the Barbershop 918. We got a special guest oh, coming awesome. in the studio to talk to us. He's going to talk to us about a lot of stuff, man. I mean, he's one of those world-renowned guests. I can't believe we got him. Man, I mean, so I'm we, just, excited. we just pulled it through, man, and somehow he was he was down. All right. So he's one of those guests that at one point, if uh, we was doing a Barbershop 918 back in the day, he would have made this first element of the Barbershop 918. Of course, I'm talking about the Ratchet Report. Going with the music, ratchet, man. Ratchet, oh, ratchet, ratchet. Ratchet, ratchat, 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 Man, uh, season four is mine. Four, yeah. He was. He, I've he's, never saw. I've never watched The Wire. Really? What? Yeah, seriously, I've never watched it. Drop your mic and leave. I mean, you know, I'm serious. We got the. Leave. You ain't cold with. Is nothing. it on Netflix? Maybe I need the to. Door. It's The Wire on Netflix. Yeah, I don't know. Is it? I, it I've never it's seen. at J Rock's house. You got. You, you got, bring the cake. <laughs> I got the box. Hey, I got you, bro. I got you. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So yeah, you just exchanging cake for other stuff. <laughs> That's what this brother was doing and got caught. Aaron Hernandez oh, has a le- Aaron Hernandez has allegedly got caught with a shank in wow. jail. Now, how we got this information, I don't know. But 
It has come out that Aaron Hernandez got caught with a shank. So has he lost? Has he learned his lesson? So Aaron is going to be a stereotype. Huh? No, nah, he, he. Well, you know, here's the thing. Dude was about that life for real. He really was. Like we talk about dangerous light skinned cats, but like you know, we've talked about the barges in here, and we've yeah. talked. But Aaron Hernandez. He was about that life. He was a he was a miniature Scarface dude. He ordered like hits and stuff. Yeah. When you order hits, yeah, you deep in the game. Which goes to show Belichick he knew. He oh, knew. On, man. Belichick he knew. He knew. Belichick he was knew. probably scared of Aaron Hernandez. A little man. bit. A little yeah. bit. He was like, I ain't playing that massive Belichick stuff. You know, like he was <laughs> <laughs> I got bodies. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. So you know, so I, why, why did he have the shake? I don't get it. I don't understand. It, it's, it's hard times. He grew up in Bristol, Connecticut, home of ESPN. Oh yeah, There's no streets. It's in Bristol, rough in I Bristol, mean. Connecticut. Man, boy. I don't God, even know how I made part-time thugging. Part-time thugging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Catch you at the listen at store? what's that episode one or two they need to listen to to find out about part time. I don't thuggers. even know, uh, man. We, three. Yeah. we stretched that one out for a while. <laughs> part time thuggers. Yeah, that's how they do it in Connecticut. Yeah, work in the so. office for eight hours and be thugging the rest well, of the well, night. Well, Hernandez was in Gen, uh, Gen Pop when he got uh, yeah caught with the shank. Now he's in uh, solitary right now. Yeah, they got him in solitary. Water. Got him Red thinking water. about it, huh? Yeah. Dang, I mean, you Aaron. know, it is what it is. But you know, I mean, in all honesty. I don't, you know, for a guy like a guy of his stature, it seemed like he would have been in, you know, isolated anyway. But if he was in general population, he kind of need. I, I could see where he would feel as though he needs, he would have the need to try to protect himself. He is never going to see the sunshine, dude. Yeah, no, ever, and he shouldn't. And he, he was, he was a millionaire, bro. He murdered yeah. a couple of people, yeah, Chef people and everything, man. Yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, he yeah. should. Him All right, shank. <laughs> Who else may not ever see the light of day? Bobby Schmurder making Bobby Smurder. his first time entry to the Ratchet Report. About a week ago. So, Reggie Jackson, I'm sorry, Bobby I'm- Schmurder. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Freudian slip. Yeah, up. yeah, it was. So, he decided to, hey, man, don't be bringing your education in here. <laughs> I just co signed that, but I don't that, know. That I don't Edison know. Education. I'm just going to choose to be offended too, by what man. <laughs> Hell, you ain't the only college here, man. Oh, my bad, brother. <laughs> yeah. Talking about I got a high school education. Yeah. You ain't talking about my education. You, you know. All right, so. It's all love. It's all love. What's the lowdown on Bobby? Because he, from what, from what, from what, uh, from my understanding, let me get myself together. From my understanding. <laughs> <laughs> man. <laughs> he was trying to make, he's been trying to make, uh, trying to make bail. Yeah, his, uh, his aunt. Offered four real estate properties for collateral in his uh, bail package, but it was denied for a sixth time. Man, That's he's sad. always trying to come through, don't they? What kind of family is he from you. that they got four properties that they could put up? Because let me explain something to you. If I go one, if I go to jail, ain't nobody getting me out, okay? okay. Yeah. Ain't nobody putting <laughs> up any. like my family. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> but if we was to piece together four houses, which once again, it's not ain't happening. nobody it's not doing happen, no. Because yeah. I got all, of, I got enough uncles in my family. that's gonna be like, no, you know, like that. <laughs> what? You we'll know. go visit them. Yeah, nah, but they ain't putting put up no. The, they ain't gonna put no money put some, on the books. Put some on the books. No. It's too many of us. <laughs> <laughs> if they put money on my books, then they gotta go put money <laughs> on. Everybody, yeah. Books. Yeah, I put on June bugs, yeah. books, and you know, so yeah. let's not start that trend. Yeah, yeah. Right, I got you. So yeah. nah, but. Back to the main story. You try to put up two minutes. They they denied for a six times. Six times. A tumbo figure. Yeah. No. 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 Smurder no was the case that they gave him. Right. Murder was the case <laughs> that they gave me. Bobby Smurder's in smell from smile to smin. Yeah. All right. About a speak ago. So here's somebody we don't want to go down the path, and this is our return of the Ratchet Delil Okafor, right? So yeah, he's just wilding out. So basically, last week when he was in the uh, Ratchet Report for the first time, it was just about what we knew. And the funny thing is, I remember saying that he was arrested. Like when I was listening back to the show, and I was like, I guess he wasn't technically arrested. And then at the time, the story was that the Boston police wasn't even going to investigate. Now the story changed. Literally after we recorded, the literally. story changed yep. right away. What's the so story what now? we got? What's the story now? It's, it's a lot going on with the brother. Uh, you know, he knocked out two people. Mm. And then they were saying that a month before that, somebody pulled a gun on him. Yeah. And this goes back to what I said, you know, last episode that the Sixers 
they're pretty much putting him in a bad spot. He's the franchise player. Right. And they're not surrounding him with veterans. If you look at every other roster of the 28 teams in the or NBA. Or security. Yeah. They right. have veteran players that are like, hey, like if he had Kevin Garnett on the Sixers right now, this we wouldn't be talking about this. Oh, right no, now. no. You won't. You won't be talking about that. You no. won't hear that from Carl Anthony Towns or, you know, anybody, no, anybody else. else. No. So you wait, 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 wait. So you're saying because he doesn't have any veterans around him, he, he, he was just... Uh, he was just gonna make these mistakes. It was it no. Was, I'm, I'm saying that it was just veterans, necessary for him to make these mistakes. No, with veteran leadership, you know they're gonna be there to you know talk to these kids, you know these youngsters, and tell them you know right from wrong. Tell them about you know these yeah. streets is bad for you. But then throwing to that, you know he was speeding, and he got uh stopped. He got cited for a ticket for speeding, and then. After that, he got busted trying to go into a club with a fake ID. He's 19 years old and he's drinking. He's out partying. Now, here's one of the funny things about this. Are we exploring somewhat of a double standard when we talk about how NBA players need and respond well to veterans pulling them in? But sometimes we don't talk about it on the same token when NFL players do the same thing. Oh, we don't at thing. all. It is a double standard. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. like Johnny Manziel, no one is coming stepping up saying he just needs that veteran leadership. People just assume he just... just He's a mess up. He yeah. just, you know, that's just what he's going to do. I couldn't think of a good, clean word to yeah, say. Yeah, I, 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 I searched it. <laughs> yeah. A mess up. Yeah. A mess up. You know, and I, I, I don't mother know. Mother brother. I, I, I don't know if, vet, if, if veteran leadership would, would stop some of this. I think this is just some of the stuff that he just would have done, whether he had leadership or not. You know, I just think, you know, you some, some folks, ain't, well, some folks yeah. ain't ready for the spotlight like that. Regardless if they have veteran leadership or not, it's been, it's been Tom, a dime a dozen NBA players that had veterans on their team still messed up, man. So, you know, and, and this is kind of like not necessarily a part of ratchet news, but transitioning to this idea of, well, should we go to two and done? I mean, like two, should they have to go so many years to college before they're eligible? To go to the league and make this much money, they have to. I think they should. I mean, in football, they have to. I yeah. mean, obviously, f- football is a different because of you know the physicality, the physicality. But yeah. I think they should let them at least go to college for two years, man. First of all, it's diluting uh, the college teams. It is. Know? No, nobody wants to watch men's basketball. Nobody wants to watch men's yeah. basketball because they're they're one and done. And I get it. Hey, man, you know a lot of these cats got families that are dependent on them, and they want to go and make that money. But then they go make that money, and they ain't ready for the spotlight. Now, how backwards is that? You have a son that's in college, right? Yeah. Could you picture saying right now, like even if you lost your job, could you picture turning to your son and saying, "Well, the family's dependent on you"? No, I couldn't do that. Yeah, it's like you as, got, as, a, as a father, I would feel weird saying right. that. You got to go pro, son. You, you gonna have pro, to got to get that account Family job need, now. Yeah, you know, like you get that education, you can get that later. Uh, yeah, I, I can't imagine even doing that. But yeah, it, the reality is, it happens all the time in the NBA, man. Yeah, it, it's it's actually you know it's something that's been ingrained in our culture for years to some degree to always expect the youth to to try to pick in for you know to kick in and take take on a responsibility but there has to be something because i don't think it's always the driving force that they're going to take care of their family yeah sometimes they just want to be rich i understand that Some you know but i mean hey school as well yeah hey man look two years that's at least an associates that is at i least. think the requirement to be in the nba should be you got to have an associates thank you man go, go to tcc go to TC- <laughs> hoop, hoop for tcc for a couple of years you know something put up a double double yeah I, I like the idea of two years also because at that time, you also you might get to that point where you know maybe I'm thinking of getting my uh, getting my degree. The NBA is gonna always be there. Yeah, get your degree. You know, because there's so many players who were stars two three years ago in college. Now they're just sitting on the bench, fixing their tie, drinking Gatorade. You no know, slapping hands and never yeah. getting on the, on the floor. Hey man, Tim Duncan did four years of college, bro. Yeah, That's where he is right now. That's all. I yeah, and then came in and had a seasoned veteran to walk him through life. There you go. And that's 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 the, the key to success is, every yes, sir, year. every time. That Ratchet, man. I mean, I mean, I mean, all we can do, man, is hope that you know Okafor learns from his mistakes. Man, he's still young, but hey, man, you can't keep walking this line. And I think it's not going to have some blowback. It's going to yeah. have some blowback. Yeah, somebody put a gun on him. I mean, just to think, you know, all that has went on with this guy in the last two months. You know, that would be. With gray hair in our beard. I mean, sometimes I think, you can't go out when you're an NBA player. You can't go to the club. Sometimes you gotta have, you gotta have the party at your crib. I think, yeah, and then party all the time. Rick James party at right? some yeah, point. Yeah, that kind of party. Oh, 
Yeah. Age of nineteen, okay. Yeah. No, I'm just saying. It's not, it's, sometimes it ain't working. <laughs> he just said had a party out. Like he's never mind. Not a Rick James party. Well, I mean, he, he said Rick James. That's party. not what I meant, man. He have people oh, smoking cocaine's and, better than and, and burning yeah. people and uh, keep people hostage. I ain't talking about that kind of party. Stomping like, on couches. Don't let nobody out. <laughs> Rick James. <laughs> <laughs> come here, let me come here, let me burn you, girl. Let me burn you. All right. <laughs> That's not our special guest. No. So, <laughs> all right. So, moving on. Speaking of college and kind of keeping in the thing of college, let's talk about the college football uh, rankings Woo! right now. Yeah, well, Before we uh, get into the top four, because the top four is pretty much the same that it has been the past few weeks. Man, stop but dancing, once man, again, the radio. visual effect is happening right now on radio. We got J Rock who's celebrating. Let's do a, a recap of only one game. I am not in the nominate. Listening audience, the barbershop nominee listening audience that does not care about other games that took place last week other than OU and OSU. And if they have barbershop nominee listener, they want to hear from only one person. Mm-hmm. And that's Raw Dog. Why you want to hear from me, man? I mean, well, no, you all timid now. <laughs> but last <laughs> week, about a week ago, what yeah, was, was you saying? I was, I was passionate, man. I, I didn't. I didn't think it was going to go down like that, man. I, I, I got to give props to the Sooners. They came in with a game plan. OSU did not have a good game plan. Um, they couldn't stop the running game. The running game is what really killed OSU, man. I was, It was hard watching that, man, because to me, by halftime, the game was pretty much over with. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I just thought, and even and even J-Rock will even admit that he thought that was it was going to be a much closer game than what it, what happened, man. I yeah. Don't, I know. think even when you review the scores that we predicted last week, all three people, you know, well, three people, not me, mm-hmm. but uh, your son put out his prediction, you put out yours, and of course those two weren't biased. No. Uh, but, and J-Rock. It doesn't put, matter, man. <laughs> I, it doesn't matter if it was biased or not. Why are you going to throw that in there, man? I, like, J-Rock was so biased. I wasn't. It, it, it's, his team just happened to win, man. So everybody Brother. thought it was going to be a close game. J Rock, give us a review on the game, real quick. A brief. Yeah, because brief. if you let him go on about yes. OU, oh, okay, okay. I'm, it's going to be brief. We'll be uh, done with the show. Okay, you guys remember that scene from Minister Society where uh, <laughs> okay. Kane was walking and, uh, and uh, old girl's cousin walked up on him and yeah. he got stomped out. Yeah, that's what it was. OU stomped out Oklahoma State oh, wow. in their stadium. Like fifty-eight twenty-three. You, you threw up yeah, they, like it was bad. Yeah, it was it was ugly. They beat him by five touchdowns. You know what? I mean, I, I one, saw the game, man. Not two. Why? Why not you three. repeating what I just said? I didn't see the game, and I know a lot of people listening did see the game. I really okay. didn't see. It. I had I was busy working oh, busy. on. Oh, okay. So I didn't get a chance to watch the game. <laughs> what was that? Still have it on DVR. You know, if you I don't want to see it. I don't need good. to watch the but, game, man. <laughs> I mean, oh, you could have put eighty on Oklahoma State. Nah, man, clear on your DVR. Why are you going there like that? Why are you going so hard, I'm just, man? I'm just saying. I mean, he said review it. He didn't say gloat. You gloat. Okay, review. Uh, oh, you scored a lot of touchdowns. Oklahoma State didn't. Oh, you defense God, showed see, up. I can't stand you, bro. You, <laughs> you are a horrible winner. <laughs> Oklahoma Can I just State, Teddy Vandross, Haney. <laughs> you are a horrible Penny winner. Blind. Can I just <laughs> say that? <laughs> J Rock is a horrible winner, man. Oh, That's man. because you don't win that often because you're a Cowboy fan. Mm. Ooh, <laughs> he got me. He got me. Ooh, if we were somewhere else, ooh, Petty Gill would come hey, out and hey, say you know something. What? My, Petty. my, my. Can I just say ooh, for Petty the record? <laughs> can I say for the record, when OSU lost, Jamel sent me a message and said, hey, what about them Cowboys? And I said, yep, they got beat pretty bad. But you know what? They didn't, they're not as bad as your Cowboys. Cowboys. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. yeah, that sucks. Yeah. yeah. Good All right, comeback, so, sir. Good comeback. So our top four hasn't changed. And for my for, let me try to remember. Clemson number one. Yes, sir. Well, they try to they try to spice it up and you know, because they did the same thing. They got together and just they just drank and talk a little bit. And then they came out from the meeting and tried to pretend like they really put some thought into it. And they said it was a really close thing that they were <laughs> thinking for a second right, of right. Alabama overturning them for the number one spot. It was really, really close. And then OU remains at number three and is predicted to just lock in there and stay there. Three, can't move up, can't go down. And then number four. Iowa. Iowa. So there's your top four. It hasn't changed. But this week, there's a possibility of some things changing. Okay, so of the top four teams, two still got uh, three of them have games to play. Correct. Who's the most likely to be upset in their games? So let's start with Alabama and Florida. 
What do you think? Uh, I don't think. Uh, I think Alabama will win this game uh, by a lot. By Florida, a lot. Florida's offense is going to struggle against Bama's defense. You got your boy Derrick Henry. He's just going to have a field day uh, uh, Saturday. And they're going to win the game by at least three touchdowns. Florida right. scored two points last week against Florida State. Yeah. yeah. So if, they, if you need us to say anything more about that, and Alabama has one of the best defenses in the country. Yeah. Yeah. So I figured that that, one, that one's a pretty easy one. Now, here's one that gets a little bit more harder. It's North Carolina versus Clemson. North Carolina's first loss of the season was to South Carolina, and they've been pretty much flawless to some degree with a very easy schedule since then. So a lot of people feel that they have a right – that if they were to be Clemson, that they should somehow leapfrog a bunch of stuff and and have a right to some top four. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't. I, first of all, I think it's going to be a really close game. Right. This is the game where you might see an upset. You might see an upset. Clemson may lose this game. So let me ask you, because for me, I, I saw Clemson a glimpse of a Clemson Clemson game. I haven't seen any of their games. Period. This year, at all. What kind of football team is this? Is it really a team that's deserving the number one, or is it just because they're in the top conference, they're undefeated, and it's just right place, right time? I, I, I think they deserve to be the number one team. Okay. They have a nice spread offense with Deshaun Watson, one of the top quarterbacks in the nation. and They got a good O-line. Good O-line and yeah. a great defense uh, led by Brent Venerable, former Oklahoma yeah. D.C. I, I get, I'm so glad he's gone because I got so tired of hearing that name on the radio all the, every Monday. Like they loved saying that man's name for some reason. What's I can't say it. Name? Say it again. Brent Venerable. Brent Venerable. I got tired of but, hearing it. But my thing is, uh, if North Carolina, you know, like you said, they've pretty much played a very soft schedule since that South yeah. Carolina game. Who's not even gonna, who's not even bowl eligible? Yeah. Um, if they somehow beat Clemson, I don't think they're gonna leapfrog from. I believe they're number nine right yeah. now. Yeah. They're it's, not gonna leapfrog into the top four because for one. They're a basketball school. And right. let's just be honest. The college football playoffs, just like the PCS, is all about money. And you want to have your big dogs in there. Yeah. So, you know, they're trying to get to the door, but you got Ohio State, yeah. Stanford, who are right. sitting in the way. So even if they do win their game, they're not going to leapfrog. That's right. Cool. But Clemson uh, goes down out of the top four, though. Oh, yeah, they're going to go out. Yeah. yeah. And, that, and that's going to push somebody, maybe that's number five, up into the top four. And that's Michigan State who Michigan. plays the number Iowa. 14. And that, Iowa, that's yeah. the next question, Michigan State versus Iowa. So Michigan State, good, solid team. I've gotten a chance to see two of their games this year. But what about Iowa? Just because it's Iowa, I've never wanted to watch any of that game. I hate to say it, man. It's just like I would rather watch grass grow. But I'm pretty sure they, they can't be as vanilla as I think, right? Well, Iowa, they they pretty much did what they were supposed to do. Like everybody at the beginning of the season said they could be a dark horse because they didn't play Michigan. They didn't play Ohio State. They didn't play Michigan State in the regular right. season. They would have to see one of those teams in the championship game. So they pretty much went through a week. Big Ten schedule. I mean, they struggled and beat Nebraska, played your Minnesota, Northwestern, Wisconsin, but yeah. they really have not been tested this year, and so they're going to see that tomorrow. This is the first big test. First big test tomorrow. Do you think Michigan State, if they win, do you think they get in the top four? Well, yeah, they're going to smack them out the way. Yeah. Take their spot. Debo their spot. spot. All right. There's the win, man. And this means absolutely nothing to the top four, but also because it's championship week, we've got Stanford versus USC for the Pac-12, which is the pac what do we want to call it? Is it really the pack? Still pack ten to me. Yeah, okay. Just like the Big Twelve is, you know, we have ten teams. It's still gonna be the Big Twelve. You know, and all honestly, honestly, it's still a Big Eight to me. Oh yeah, oh, you know throwback, that. throwback. Yeah, to that, the hey, hey, might as well. Yeah, mm. I never did like that. All right, so that, that's that covers our college football talk right there. Some We've already talked this about weekend. that. Is some good games. So make sure any yeah any y'all got some bold bold predictions that y'all want to get real passionate about so we can talk about next week. Anybody? Anybody going out on this? going to be in the Kentucky Fried Chicken Bowl. That's the one I'm looking forward to. Who? The Kentucky Fried Chicken Bowl. Who's going to be in the KFC Bowl? I don't don't know who's going to be in it, but whoever it is, I can't wait. But they do have a Popeye's Bahama Bowl. They do? They do? Yes. Really now? No joke. So why come they in the churches? That's a really good question. Like, I want, like, the Honey honey Clump Classic. We can't have a Clunny Clump Classic. Get Honey Clump Grambling versus Southern. I wasn't going to say nothing, but I think we was. If you call it a classic. Shout out to the HBCUs, baby. The Honey Clump Classic. You see, Jerry, like I got nothing to say. Y'all wrong for that, man. All right. Woo! HBCUs ain't getting no love, man. Not today. 
All right, so we're going to talk about the top five. We got a top five, but this top five, we're not going to say, he's not going to say I'm cold with it because this is a top five that's based off of uh, fighting movies. Yeah, I didn't come I, up with this one. Didn't I? Nah, yeah. this this top five is based off of fighting movies. Last week, I got a chance to go see Creed, so it got me to thinking about what are other fighting movies that I like. Yes, sir. So, we, so I wanted to challenge you guys with your top five fighting movies, and because... You know, this one I came up with, I get a chance to go first. So do I get an honorable mention? Since no, I, I'll no. take that honorable mention from you. No. What? My what honorable, is happening here, man? It is going down what now. Is the, where's the fairness, bro? You can give me some top five music if you like. I ain't, I ain't doing jack, man. <laughs> okay, all I'm right. I'm over here with my arms folded. <laughs> okay. So, I got an attitude. coming in for my honorable mention, <laughs> I got a, you can't talk about fight movies without mentioning Too Sweet and Penitentiary. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> or prison rape for that matter. <laughs> or prison rape. <laughs> hey. Oh my gosh. Half so, dead and too sweet. That was yes. Great, that was great. a great fight in the cell. Yes, it when was. Half dead was trying to deflower too sweet. <laughs> yes. Penitentiary. <laughs> it's a classic. If you've never seen Penitentiary, you got to see it. If you're trying to scare your kids. It's brutal. <laughs> and to never go to jail. Scare straight. You can watch 10 episodes. And then fast and forward nothing. to that part where Too Sweet, sweet and Half cell. Dead is an in cell fight. That scared Made me, me not want to go to prison. <laughs> <laughs> Made me not want to be a fighter. Dude, too Sweet uh, fought for his life. Right. Yes, yes he did. And other stuff. Just, just listen to the name. <laughs> too Sweet <laughs> and Half Dead. Yes. <laughs> All right. God or something, man. Now, Half Dead had some jacked up teeth, bro. Oh. He was just unattractive, right. to say the least, sir. So let's get into the real top you five. Half dead. I got away from my honorable mention. And so <laughs> coming in at number five, I got Kickboxer. All right? A lot of people don't like Jean Claude. Yeah, I mean, just because he's in it. But it's still a good movie. Yeah, it's all right. It's a good fighting movie. It's all right. All right. Stop hating, man. I'm just All right. All right. You know? it's, wait till... Wait till J-Rock's list. <laughs> we hate on J-Rock's top five. Right, you now, you unhateable all of a sudden? Yeah. How you Don't become crossing the board. <laughs> crossing the board. We always do this. You know, dude, that's the agreement. Hate on J-Rock's top five. You just going to sit here and mess up <laughs> at a perfectly good alliance. I'm sorry. See how they treat me. Now we don't survive. <laughs> right. Coming in at number four is Kill Bill, man. I actually, hey, I like, yeah, Kill, Kill Bill. Bill. Wait, wait, wait. Which one? Volume one or volume two? Because uh, there's more than one. Yeah. Uh, you didn't think I, about that, did you? I didn't. Um, I'm going to go with the, well, I guess volume one. There you go. Yeah, because I, I don't, yeah. There's there's a difference. Yeah, there's a big difference. Yeah. But, all right. Yeah, so I'm trying to help, man. Yeah, thank See? you, sir. Yeah, I mean, you made me think, and that, that, that's weird. I don't, <laughs> I don't do that during it's the barbershop. It's weird that I made you think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got number three, Karate Kid, man. Just yeah, that's cause. a classic. Yeah, it's a classic, and I, I think there's parts of it now, and I'd be like, it's kind of corny. Yeah. But how many of us in this room, and how many people listening, did not try to do that in the water in the swimming pool? Yeah. Do yeah. that, pull off that little crane move. Yeah. Yeah, the crane. Yeah, we've all wax yeah. on, wax off. Yeah. yeah. All right, number four, and we're gonna talk about this later. Four. I mean, number. I'm sorry, number two. Three, aren't you? But see. Wait a minute, where no, are you, man? Two. It's number two. Okay. Yeah, I'm in number two. Well, man, you, <laughs> you got us confused. Number man. two, Rocky Four. Man, see, you know what? I'm we do you want to get into this now or later? I'm just saying Rocky Four. Do you want to get into this? Do you want to get into this now or later? Now let's go and get into it later, man. I don't okay. want to mess up your top five. All right. You know? And number one, Enter the Dragon. That's a good one. Number one is Enter That's the Dragon. One. That's a good one, sir. J Rock. Now let the hating begin. <laughs> they gonna hate on my honorable mentions. Because <laughs> I don't my get to have any. I get the honorable hate mention it. list. Any Steven Seagal movie made <laughs> Boo. in the late eighties, <laughs> early nineties, hard to kill. Boo. Yeah, Mark for Boo. death. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> He's that? breaking them Jamaicans off. <laughs> <laughs> he touched them with two fingers and they just ah. break. <laughs> That it was that movie wasn't good for race relations. It was, like it was, it was just he was kicking black folks' butt in that. Movie. He was fat, man. Like he, he was, was real fat. Like man. he was eating donuts and chicken and still fighting. Like and I, the only thing was moving was his arms and, yeah. his, and his hands. I've never seen somebody out of shape still. fighting like that. Man, burly moving his legs with anyway. a ponytail, dude. With a ponytail, fat and ponytail. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Num- number five is Fight Club. Okay. Number four is Kill Bill Volume One. Okay, all right. All right. okay. Number- you didn't put one on until he confronted <laughs> me. Let- he had to think about it too. <laughs> my, my, my He's like, "Oh, I do have yeah, to put that." I didn't even think about that. 
Number three was the Karate Kid as well. Drew was looking at my list. Because, Whatever. Oh, see. He got me back for looking at his yeah, list. That's real week. cute. Y'all sharing then, lists, man. Then uh-huh. number two was Rocky Four. Man, go on with that mess, man. Rocky, we okay, talk- we can get into this later. No, yeah, but later's yeah. coming real soon. Oh, come yeah. on, man. Just yeah, finish up, man. And number one, The Last Dragon. <laughs> with Bruce Leroy? Yes. Yes. It is a fighting movie. That's what you said. Oh, that's no, what it you is. Said. He caught a bullet in his teeth, dude. I don't even Catching care. bullets. He caught a bullet teeth. in his teeth. You Mickey, see, Ficky, you please. please. I'm not looking at y'all. I'm looking for my list, man. <laughs> Mickey, Ficky, please. Y'all ain't <laughs> gone with that mess, man. All right. Let me give you my top five because I'm cold with it. Glow. Number five, Kill Bill Volume 1, baby. Yeah. Come, <laughs> why y'all looking like that? I'll be cat. <laughs> like you okay. going to throw your phones at me. So uh, you had that on your list. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure you did, bro. I ask you which volume. Right. Looking at mine. <laughs> Number four, The Wrestler with Mickey Roy. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you. Eh. Excuse me? Wait a minute, Ann. Yes. You just said, ooh, then you go ooh. to Ann. Ooh, because it was obscure. He really and had, as you know, he I really like had, the obscure. Might be obscure. He yeah. really had Body Slam with Roddy Piper, R.I.P., <laughs> yeah. But he switched it up. When yeah. said, man, don't be trying to interpret my top five, sir. <laughs> yeah. Mr. I love Steven Seagal. Number three, Ali. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Is it a good? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank All right. you very okay. much. All right. I give it to you. It I is. give it to you. Number two. Hurricane. Rocky. The Reuben Carter story. Oh. Which Rocky? The Which Rocky? One. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I can yeah. I ain't gonna argue with Rocky that. Five, but yeah. Okay. Man, buddy, man, you seem like a Rocky that, Five man. fan. Man, you know what? I ain't even listening to y'all. Number one is <laughs> End of the Dragon. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So there. Those are my top five fight movies ever, man. Sure. Yeah. End of the Dragon is the greatest it's fight movie ever. It's the greatest one ever made. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Jim Jim Kelly. Yeah. John Saxon. Bruce Lee. You come right out of a comic book. Come I really man. think somebody died making that movie. Like. Had I really- to. <laughs> Had to. I don't really even know if that's a word. Had to have. <laughs> had to have. Had to have. All one together, word? one word. Had, had to, to have. <laughs> had to have. That's a great but, movie, though, man. All right. Now, what made me think about that list? Because the fact that we went to go see Creed. Now, yes! we should have saw it as a group, but I was scared to cry in front of grown men. Well, you know, we were. Dirty tears. Yeah. Up. But we all admit, we all yeah, cried. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, I shed a, I I shed didn't a cry. tear, too. Yeah, you did. Somebody man. cut the grass in the movie theater. Yeah, yeah that's what. Now they that's got grass in the movie, movie. theater. Yeah. yeah, that's not the New Warren Theater. Ain't I'm, it? I'm, yep, and broken <laughs> down. Yeah, hey, I wouldn't be surprised that theater down the Sand Springs one is. It, they probably got grass. <laughs> <laughs> literally, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> literally. Icky, icky, like grass. I left a couple of shoes in there a few times. <laughs> man, forget it, man. <laughs> it's that not shoe belonged to the theater. <laughs> down. It is not worth it. Yeah, <laughs> I just went shoeless. <laughs> I lost a shoe and a sock. Oh, God. It's Almost cheap, though. Skin. It's cheap. <laughs> yeah, it should be. It should oh. be like $3 to get in that mug, man. It on literally Tuesdays. is. It yeah, is. But you it donating is. your <laughs> shoes, your socks, and part of the skin off your foot. Or my oh, Jesus man. sandals next to <laughs> Oh, we're so far off topic. All right, but, Creed, is but Creed, a, yeah. Creed is an amazing movie. It is. Now, without giving up, because we want everybody to see and we don't want to feel like, we don't want to like do some spoiler spoil alert. That's right. But I would say, like, big part of my review for the movie Creed is to say that I honestly believe that it belongs in the Rocky movies. Like, yeah. I don't feel like that it's a movie that you would like. If some I'm not offended if somebody say it's Rocky Seven. I think it will water it waters down the product. But you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it goes yeah. right along with the storyline. Rocky belongs in the storyline, and I I will continue to watch it even if Rocky falls off of the storyline because I'm now invested in Creed. Great. That's the so, way to put it. So uh, here's the thing. This movie was made by um, the cat that made Fruitvale Station. Okay. Ryan Coogler. Uh, Ryan Coogler just took basically a different spin on on the Rocky movie. And he just, you know, he just went with it, man. And with the lessons of Sylvester Stallone, he made a top-notch movie. Now, we're not going to get into any spoiling or anything like that. But if you go spend your money to go see this movie, it'll be well worth the money that you're spending. Would you guys agree? I oh, definitely agree with you. Yeah. What, you. what you think, Jay? Michael B. Jordan, amazing actor. You know, I, I don't even call him Michael. I call him Wallace from The Wire. You call can't him get what? You on, his, last, his name was Wallace when he was on The Wire. I, I, say, I, I don't call know, him Michael B. I, Jordan. I I've call never him Wallace. Seen the Wire, so I don't. So know. we, we got to get that hooked yeah. up for you. Yeah. But it was it was an amazing movie. You know, it was worth the two hours and fifteen minutes that I was in there watching it. And I'm going to go see it again this weekend. Everybody did their job, man. I mean, Sylvester probably was probably going to get nominated for an Oscar. Uh, Michael B. Jordan was off the chain. Uh, Tessa Thompson. 
Yeah, she she, she did an down. amazing job, man. She's an amazing. Actress. She wasn't yes. just uh, well, his girlfriend, you know. But she she brought something to the story. Look, if you haven't seen it yet, go see it now. It is yeah. worth it's worth the time and the money. I think yeah, I definitely I definitely enjoyed it, and it, and I had my uh, you know, a movie's good when it make you cry, and you had that Uncle Phil mo- like when you know they, it had one of them moments, Smith, and, yeah. yeah, it had one of those moments, and so yeah, I love it. I love That's the great. movie, so definitely go see it. Not. I am interested in seeing it a second time just to see if I'm just caught up in the emotion. Well, it's an intense movie. You know, I'll say that it's intense, man. But and it's good. And the other thing I like about it is the fact that it's actually a clean enough movie for you to go take your kids to see. I counted yeah. maybe two cuss words in it, two, yeah. three. Yeah. So it's worth it's actually worth the PG thirteen rating. Sometimes movies are PG thirteen, but they'll put all seventeen cuss words that they're allowed to have in it. Yeah, they take it to the limit. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, or sometimes they'll put fake cuss words in. You know, put something that don't even make sense in it, just yeah. so it can get the PG thirteen rating. Because no G movies don't make as much as PG thirteen. There you go. So, well worth it. Good family movie. All right, so we got a special uh, guest coming in studio. Absolutely. And because the barbershop nine one eight functions on, on a, budget. a budget, we uh, budget ball in here. We uh, gonna say goodbye to my man. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get my mic Wrong to our dog. guest star, man. I'm gonna get my mic to our, our guest, our guest. Uh, and it's the first time we ever had a guest in the house, man. Actually, yeah. second time, second time. Oh yeah, yeah, because I had my boy in here. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get the mic, but uh, hold on. Hey guys, how you doing? All right, all right. How you doing today, I'm, man? I'm really glad to be here. This is um. If you don't know by now, my name's Mike Tyson. How was your flight, man? I was, uh, it's a little bumpy flight. I've never actually been to Tulsa, Oklahoma. I thought you guys were going to have horses and paved uh, roads. I didn't. I thought I was going to have to be milking cows up in here, you know? So um, I'm glad to be here. How are you guys doing? All right. We're doing to we Allah. Blessed, man. We, we're good, good, man. We're, we're good. honored that you're here. Yeah, yeah, so like what is this again? Thing. What is this operation? What you guys are doing? What are you guys doing? Well, basically, man, we just we talk about everything that's real, everything that goes on in the hood, and everything. Mike, you know, stuff like we talk, we debate you, Mike. We oh, talk you about debate you know, me. Okay, yeah. well, who's against me in here? Nobody. Oh, okay, nobody. I just want to make, sure, sure, make sure we all friends, right? You the man, Mike. You still the champ in my eyes. Yeah. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, uh, J J Love. I appreciate that a lot. So, um, <laughs> J Love. So yeah, yeah, J Love. So, that's my name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, that's what I thought that your name was. Yeah. G1. Okay. You seem like so cool now, like so relaxed. Like when you was in the ring, you was like vicious, man. So like, I was an animal. I was crazy, but I've calmed down much since those days. You know, I'm really chill right now, man. You know, it's just you know, what, 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 why get angry? You know, why get angry? You know, plus I'm on some really, really heavy medication, so. <laughs> so is that how you wind down? At yeah, the man. End of the day, man. Well, you know, I, I I I take my medication, and then you know what a lot of people don't know about. About Mike is that you know when I when I come home and I'm with my family, I like to dance. I like to dance, you know, <laughs> to relax myself. So what I do is you know I, I whip, you know, and then I nay nay two times, and then I, I whip again, and then I nay nay, and then like my family are like ooh watch this, and then I do it again, and and then when I'm done with that, you know, sometimes I feel like I have to hit the corn because I like hitting things. Uh, at least I did in my past life. But I like to dance, you know, when I'm just at the home, just, you know, chilling and everything like that. So, hey Mike, so you, uh, did you say hit the corn or hit the quan? Um, I, I, uh, I'm glad you asked that question, um, um, G-Spot. Uh, actually, it was hit the quan. I believe it was <laughs> quan. Is it, what is it quan? Is so, it, oh, got it, got it, got it. Got okay, it. So said, you're a private quan. dancer, uh, dancer for money? Yeah, you know, like Tina Turner. You like Tina Turner. I like Tina Turner. She's, she's, <laughs> her hair looks like it's been rolled with firecrackers. <laughs> It's just really interesting. Oh, okay, okay. She's like 170 like, years old, and she's like she's like really old. I've always wanted to ask you, man, are you kin to Cicely Tyson? Uh, no, I'm not kin. Who is Cicely Tyson? I don't even know who that is, man. I don't even. It, it was she, she like the last living slave or something? I don't understand why you even asking me that. Um, I don't know what is this, this she. What does she do? She's an. Well, we're gonna move on from that. Okay. One, okay. So I, I got a, here's the burning Cicely. question. What kind of name is Cicely anyway? It's like Italian. So here's one of the burning questions that we've always had in the barbershop. We even had a debate on this, man. It was churches versus Popeyes. Which one is your favorite uh, fried chicken spot? You know, that's an interesting question, Drew. I'm glad. I'm glad you asked me that question. Yeah, aren't you glad he asked me that question, um, J Spot? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, see, now here's the thing. I like the the chicken from Popeyes. 
Really? Hold on. Mike's a little close to my mouth. I like chicken from Popeye's, but I like the honeycomb from um, Church's Chicken. So I'll buy chicken from the Popeye's and I get the honeycomb from Church's and I make sure I get a big old glass of Fanta Strawberry and I just gulp it down and it makes me real happy and just, you know, plus I take my medication and everything. So it's, I, 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 you know, it's just hard for me to choose, you know. I mean, it's just hard. It's just hard for me to choose, you hey, know. Hey, Mike, did you say Slawberry? I said strawberry. Are you being a tough guy here? I don't understand. Are you, no, sir. It, I, I, I'm because your ears are looking real good to me right now. Your ears are looking really good because I'm hungry and I haven't eaten anything in a while. So I just want to know if you're being a tough guy or not. You're being you think, a tough no, guy. No, sir. I'm just, I'm just, just, I just want the viewers to understand what you were saying. I didn't know if you said Fanta Slawberry or Fanta Strawberry. Oh, no, no, look, J Lo. I don't know who you think you think you are, man. You, you know, you don't. You know, I'm trying to be indubitably smart here, and you're like questioning whether what I'm, what I'm saying my words right. You, you don't want me to come back here, dude. Just just say it, man. But I, I, got, I got one question for you. What is the football team that plays in that is the Texans? Uh, Houston. <laughs> what's this, what's so funny? I don't understand. You, the, no, uh, we're we're trying to de- debate if they can beat the Buffalo Bills this week. So he says the Houston, yeah, uh, the Houston, the Houston Texans. You know, Houston, Texans. Is okay. that that's what you are you trying to say? I'm saying it wrong. I don't understand. No, you said it right. Yeah, because I know I know you don't know how to say it either, J Spot. So I was just you know, you know, you, you're the supply calling the kettle brown or something like that. I was just <laughs> checking to see if you, you if you were going to pick the because uh, you're from New York. Yeah, and Buffalo yeah. plays in New York, and they're playing. In the Houston Texans this week, so I was just checking. It sounds see. funny coming out of your mouth for some reason. I just think you're getting. I think you're making fun of me, but I that's think okay. Here, I'll cheer you. Wait, 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 excuse me. You're not going to be hearing in a few minutes. I'm going to bite your ears off, man. You, uh, Jay, whatever your name is, Jay something. Just shut up, man. Come on, Drew. You got to. You got to drive right, again. Just, I'm guy, just, this man. This, you're All making right. me mad, man. Drew, right, I thanks. like you and the other dog guy, but this, this, this J spot right here. I don't know what his problem is. He's like got something against me or something like All that. Right. You lucky I'm not the same Mike Tyson I was before. <laughs> We're glad to have you, Mike. Yeah, thank, yeah. Thank you, you do so, have tasteful you. looking ears. That's that. Yeah, done. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. Hey, All right. See and, you later, Mike. Appreciate thanks, you. Mike. Thank, thanks for coming in. All thanks, right. Thanks, Mike. Hey man, why are you making Mike Tyson mad? He's bold, I just, ain't he? I just he didn't saw question. Creed, and he think he Creed, <laughs> and he gonna sit. And the whole time I'm sitting there, I'm I'm I ain't gonna make con- eye contact. You really gonna go all and go this dude, Mike? This dude pointing out Mike Tyson's, you know, uh, can't say the word Houston. That was you calling the tea kettle brown. Yeah, you cold with as it, he bro. Put it. <laughs> no, you know Will Smith had a song uh, called "I Think I Can Beat Mike Tyson" back in '88. I listened to it before we came on the show. So. Why am I known as the obscure guy? I don't not know. He just I pulled one out. Warrant, and- <laughs> I do not warrant that 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 title. You pull one out, bro. <laughs> Let's move back into sports, man. Let's move back into sports. Let's talk about the NBA, man. Let's talk about the NBA. We got the top five we're going to talk about here in a little bit. But before we get into the top five, while we go ahead and pull up the top five, let's talk about Kobe being Brian, right? Yes, Let's sir. talk about the fact that he went ahead. We joked about this last week, and he we did. said he should just pull off from the uh, from the table, come to the front door, and you know, just call a press conference and just be like, "All right, look, I'm retiring." And he did, did just that, and he, he did just that. Yeah. Yep. And so you heard it first on the barbershop nine one eight for real, in all honesty. But we called. It. Yeah. So Kobe retired, and I think one of the things that has happened is now he's enjoying the game. And the league is now, uh, as he's going on these last trips to to see, uh, for teams to be, uh, cities to be able to see him play, he's enjoying himself and he's getting standing ovations and all these type of things. So it's a good look for him. So that's a good thing. And I believe that he, of course, he's not going to, he's going to shoot horribly. But I don't care. Well, the pressure's off now. Yeah. See, now, now he just has to play. He didn't have to win because no. this is it for him. So I think this was probably the best decision he could have made. Yeah. You know, to go ahead and, and retire and let him know up front, hey, I'm retiring at the end of the year. So this is it. This is this is as much as you guys are going to be able to enjoy me. And now even those that may have hated Kobe all these years, you got to give it up for him. The dude yeah. is going to be – he's one of the greats. You know what I mean? He is. And I think a, that's a lot of things. Like, it's a lot of things where people – like I posted this on the barbershop nominee Facebook where like someone just unnecessarily just decided to make this graphic comparing his shooting percentage to like Steph Curry's. 
It's like, come on, man. Like, how unfair is that? Like, why? Why even do something like that? You know, here's the bottom line. I think his shooting percentage, yeah, it may be garbage. But here's the thing. It's a farewell, farewell tour. I don't agree you give him a sympathy spot on the Olympic team. Because unlike what a lot of people think when they say, well, no, no one's going to contend for the gold medal. No, that's yeah. bull. Yeah. There's some teams that are getting better. Now, giving him a spot on the all-star uh, team, go for it. You know, I don't really care about that because it's just a, it's an exhibition game anyway. And in all honesty, I would rather see him out there. And if you went ahead and said, okay, well, we're going to, by that matter, well, Paul Pierce might say he's retiring. Do we throw him in? Do we throw Kevin Garnett in? Yeah. I don't care. Well, here's the thing. I it, really don't. It, it's reminiscent of see. Kareem when yeah. Kareem decided that he was going to retire. You remember the farewell tour he had? I mean, they was giving this brother motorcycles wheelchairs and wheelchairs. Everything. Yeah. I mean, it was it, it was good for the NBA, you know. And so I see this as the same way. I don't think anybody else is going to get this type of, you know, last yeah. hurrah. That you now Paul Pierce ain't going to get this. Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan ain't going to get this. Kevin Garnett. No. Nah. No, Dirt, no. 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 Nope. And all and all of them need to retire. Like they, this this should do. be the greatest retirement class. Like this retirement class could be your starting five and they would, you know, the and go ahead thing. and just and let Andre Miller come off the bench because we really need to get him out the league. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like Andre Miller, fifty five years old. He is. Man. He is. Yeah. He got like don't old he got like an S curl or something? Still got that old uh yeah. he got a dupe. Yeah. <laughs> no, but uh Kobe came out today and he said that he didn't want the Kareem farewell tour with the wheelchairs Whatever. and everything. He, like get he said it. he just wants to, you know, go out and play and not take anything away. He lying. He want it. He's Kobe, man. He's Kobe. He wouldn't still be on that team if he didn't want it. True. And he would have waited until the end of the year to say he was retiring. Yeah. No, he wants it and he needs it to boost his game. He had one good night in Washington and all of a sudden he act like, well, I don't really want this. Yeah, you do. Yeah, he does. You wouldn't even have had that good night and it wasn't really a good night. But it was good, man, compared to what he'd been yeah, doing. Yeah, what he'd been doing. That first yeah. quarter in Philly was old school Kobe, but yeah. you know, the rest of the game. Oh, yeah, he lo- he missed his last 14 shots. Wow. Hot garbage. I think that's what, it, yeah, I think that's what they said it was. Hot garbage those last, those last three quarters. Yeah. He, he, he wants this, man. I mean, he thought long and hard about it, dude. And, and you know what? Not only does he want it, he deserves it. Yeah. He deserves it. He's Kobe. All right, so who's in our top five? Who's our top five power rankers in the NBA this week? I believe we entered one in this week, and I'm starting to regret a little bit. Who's but we're going to talk about that in here in a little uh, bit. Uh, number five is, again, the Miami Heat. Yeah, which they have proved it, unfortunately. Yeah. They're playing well. Yeah. That big win last night against OKC. Yeah, whatever. Uh, number yeah. four, uh, the Cleveland Cavs. Uh-huh. Okay. Number three, the Indiana Pacers. Good. Wow. Playing ball. They've ball. been balling in the thing. Pacers? About it. Yeah, yeah the Pacers. they've been balling. And uh, PG-13, Paul George, has come back. He's going to get comeback player of the year this year. Uh, he's going to finish second to Steph Curry. If the season ends today, he would finish second, which wouldn't mean anything because Steph Curry is the unanimous choice yeah. of MVP right now. So, you know, Indiana, Indiana is playing ball like they were in 2013. Uh, number two is the San Antonio Spurs, who uh, whooped up on the Memphis Grizzlies last night. And Kawhi. How does it feel, Leonard? Yeah. Had that's, uh, that's what, eight three pointers <laughs> last night. You know, he was on fire. And number one, is the Golden Girls. I mean, the Golden Boys. Wow. The so Golden Girls. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, the Golden State Warriors. The Golden we got to play Warriors. the music yeah, for that. We do. Yeah. <laughs> sorry about that. We got to play that music again. Yeah. No shade towards the Golden Gate. So the Thunder's Warriors. not in the top five. No, nah. nah. we read a top five earlier this week that had the Thunder in it. And, and they didn't belong in there. They didn't. No. And I think they, you know, for a second I was thinking, okay, maybe they deserve to sneak in there. But then they went on the road and they lost to Atlanta. And they also lost to uh, Miami. to Miami back to back. And I think there's always these points where for any sports team and for any fan, you start to realize, is my team a championship team or is my team just entertaining to watch? And... These past two games have proved to me that for this season, unless something drastic changes, the Thunder at this point, at this because it's a quarter of the season so far, have proven to be an entertaining team to some degree, but not a championship killer instinct team because they should have pulled together those two games. They should have won both of them, they, and they should be playing better ball and taking better shots. They get stagnant the last three, four minutes of the game. Yeah. You know, all of a sudden, they're taking jumpers, man. And Thunder team have 
they got players in there that can go to the hoop and either get fouled, get a, a, a three point play. They got guys that can go to the hoop hard. Yeah. And yet they're satisfied with taking threes. You know what I mean? And that's just not going to do it, man. You 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 got to. It's 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 disheartening to watch because it's like, okay, where were you got where? Where was a team that that the last game they won? Where was that team at? Yeah. You just don't know which team's going to come out when you see the Thunder play. And it's like they're just all over the place, man. It's frustrating. You know, and I think they don't take advantage of some of the pieces that they have. You know, like it, it the most one of the more frustrating things is watching. You've got Cantor, who really, in all honesty, I didn't feel this way just out of just liking the team's chemistry at first and liking Adams. But at this point, I think Cantor's offensive stability is something we need on the court more frequently. And, you know, I really want to see Cantor play a little bit more. But we also have Ibaka as he begins to step up and, you know, and and fill different roles. We've got some bodies that allow you to cut to the lane and and actually allow you to miss some, you know, some shots in if you drive in, you know what I'm saying? Right, like right. we've got we've got the ability to move some people around and we just don't take advantage of Our it. Our defense man. sucks, man. Yeah. It's, it hasn't improved. Teague, no. Teague ran uh drove on a rope in two straight times. Two straight times and nobody was there to help him out. I don't like dude. And I keep saying it like he's not a defensive specialist. That's us just that's Pressy or whoever just not wanting to spend money for a shooting guard and keep playing this whole he's a defense. No, he's not. He's not. I'm starting to, I'm starting to agree with you on this Kawhi one. Kawhi Leonard's a defensive specialist. Yeah. Okay? Robeson yeah. is just out there taking up He's the spot. just out there. Right. And you know what? And he keeps getting everybody knows that they can blow by him. You ain't even got to have a quick first step. That dude at the Y, that old dude, that really old dude, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. just, Steve Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Got gotcha, you, young man. You know, like, <laughs> got him. Got him. I'm starting. I'm starting to agree with you on Robeson. I think that uh, that he's not what he's what what no. Presley, Presley says he is. He's not. He 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 is literally out there because he can't shoot. And he's fairly light skinned Here's my theory. Oh, here we go. Green <laughs> Akbar <laughs> bloodline. The exactly. From the bank. <laughs> Yeah, I honestly think he might be Pressy's son or something like that on the low. It got to be something there. Like, why is he in the starting lineup? He likes Roberson. Let man. me, and then you got someone, you can't start a Deion Waiters, but you got a guy like Deion Waiters who's who understands basketball enough to say, I'm taking it to the hoop. Mm-hmm. Now, of course, you know, like he'll put his head down sometime and not even look at the hoop and just start running toward him. Like, hey, and one. And he like, <laughs> up a missed layup. Yell, yeah. Yell at and one. And one. Like, he'll be at the free throw line. Hey, and one. You already got it, dude. <laughs> got it, man. Chill. But so, honestly, ahead. just from, uh, I was looking at the record, 11 and 8, and it's 19 games they played this season. And in the eight losses, they've been competitive. They've been there. It, it hasn't been where one of those games they get blew out and Katie and Russ is on the sideline with a struggle face. No, they've been in all 19 games they where just they could have won. They, just they don't, don't execute. execute. Like late game execution. Uh, the Atlanta game, KD, one of the best scorers in the league. He only has two shots. I understand Russ was a yeah. Russ mode. He was uh, taking a lot of shots and you know he got him back and gave him the lead and everything, but he also, also they blew the lead, and you would think in a sense where they're down by one or two points that you would go to the superstar player, the franchise player, but they went away from it. But this sounds like a conversation we could have had two years ago. Yeah. We we were saying the same yeah. thing two years Cutting ago. Cutting pace with Scott Brooks, yeah, Billy Donovan. Is. So nothing's changed, really. Nothing. No. Nothing's changed. Yeah. Just just a different different guy at the head, but the same, the same mentality. Yeah. All so, right. Yeah, so let's go ahead and move on from the NBA, and let's go ahead and go into the struggle faces. You got your struggle faces ready yet, J. Rock? The want struggle to, face. We can go to a top five. If Cal, you know. we can. We can. We got do down, struggle faces. Down, down. Well, let's just say he's cold that with these struggle faces. I, I'm not even gonna say I'm cold with it, but it's just I only needed two this week. I only needed two. Only, two. only needed two struggle faces. Because what you got? They, they they stood out. It was hilarious. Oh, it was that bad? Huh? Oh, okay. Was, but the struggle face. This, the struggle face this week are sponsored by Nappy Red's Number Hut. Okay. <laughs> you are guaranteed to win more money at Nappy Red's than you are on Fan, FanDuel oh or DraftKings. Not that, running numbers. Like old school running. Yes. <laughs> Nappy Red. Nappy Red's Nappy, back. Nappy if Red you, if you want any. <laughs> yeah. what I asked for. Yeah, you, what, what's Nappy Red's business hours? 
Nine? Seven to seven. <laughs> to five? Seven to seven. Seven p.m. to seven a.m. Nights like Nappy this. Red. If you need more information, contact Macaroni Tony, oh, okay. who's in front of Gibbs right now. He can help you with that. He is. That's sad because that's real life. <laughs> And that's messed up. Because it's a bunch of people right now who know who you're talking about. That is messed up. That's crazy. No, but the number two struggle face is the Cleveland Browns. You know, they went through a struggle last week uh, with Johnny Manziel being benched. And they went with uh, their quarterback, Josh McCown, who fractured his clavicle just like uh, Mr. Romo. Yeah. And they went with the backup, Austin Davis, who took him down the field. They needed a field goal to beat the Baltimore Ravens on Monday Night Football. It was going to be a celebration in Cleveland. East 99, Bone was going to perform a concert Monday night. (laughs) But uh, the Browns. Was Tasha going to perform with him? And Tasha. Tasha? Yeah. (laughs) And she's married to Tasha. She's married to uh, a milk carton. uh, Lazy Bone? No, she a crazy one. She's actually married to one of those. For real? Yeah. Oh, okay. That would explain why she was on there singing her name, Tasha. <laughs> that was some Yoko stuff, right? She said she never got paid for that. She married the brother. <laughs> but anyway, the Baltimore Ravens blocked the Cleveland Browns' uh, game-winning field goal attempt, and Will Hill recovered it for Baltimore and took it back to the end zone and scored. Baltimore Ravens beat the Cleveland Browns. And so oh, the Cleveland sad. Browns are... Still the Cleveland Browns, but the number one struggle face. You need a drum roll? <laughs> it's no need. It's no need. It was hilarious last night in Detroit, Michigan. Oh, yes. Going to the Detroit Lions. The Hail Mary. They yes. were playing the Green Bay Packers, who are coming off of two straight losses. And, you know, they look at Detroit celebrating like. It's Motown in the 60s and 70s again. They they went out. They make the playoffs. That's how they feeling right now. They were up 20-0 at halftime. Then they had a late lead going into the fourth quarter. Then Aaron Rodgers showed why he was the best quarterback in the NFL. He ran in the touchdown. And then Detroit, who's last in rushing, couldn't get a first down. Kicked it off to Green Bay with, I think it was like 10 seconds left or something. They couldn't get it off. And it was a, a, a face mask. So they left with one play. I would think if you're going, if it's a hell mary, you're going to just put nine people out there. Aaron Rodgers threw a 61 yard hell mary to Richard Rodgers. Rodgers to Rodgers. Rodgers to Rodgers. State Farm double check. Bang bang. <laughs> Game over. Game over. Detroit is still Detroit. Yeah. And they get they were what the they say they were who we <laughs> thought they were. And they get the top struggle <laughs> face for the week. All right, oh, there you go. Damn. That's a sad, good struggle sad. face. Sorry, right there. Lions. Yes. I laugh. All right. So, All transitioning night. from the struggle face, we got a top five. It's time oh. for a top five because my man top says five. he is cold with it when it comes I'm to cold the with top five. I'm cold with the top five. I've heard that. You heard keep telling y'all I've that. heard that. Somewhere. All right. Top five for this week, y'all. Top five female MCs ever. Ooh. EVA. Ever. Okay. Okay. Top five of this week is sponsored by Johnny Ray's Curls, Curls, Curls. <laughs> if it's 2015, you're still holding on to your Jerry Curl. Johnny Ray's is the place for you. They have Jerry Curl kits, activator, and spray or gel form, Ooh. and all things you need to maintain that soul glow. That's Johnny Ray's Curls, Curls, Curls. All Ooh, right. Can I get colored curl caps to Johnny Ray's? Yes, sir. Ooh. They come in uh, blue, pink, uh, yellow, um, two tone. Purple, yeah, two tone. They got some two tones there. All right. Try to get those fast because those sell really quickly. Okay, watch out for right. the crips. They take all the blues. Yeah, wow, you just gonna put it out there, ain't you? They do. <laughs> they do. They do. I wasn't gonna say that. All right, my number five. Since I don't get honorable mentions because they be tripping up in here. Number five, I'm gonna go with the brat. Okay, there you go. He was on Brad was one of the first uh, female MCs to sell to actually have a platinum selling album with Functified. Y'all remember that? Word up. Number four, I'm going to go with Lil' Kim. Yeah. Lil' Kim changed the game. She really did. Number three, Missy Elliott. Missy Ooh, yeah. forgot about She ain't on my list. Yeah, I Missy, forgot about her. She Missy Elliott. Be. Miss Demina. I mean, when the first time I heard her was on the remix to uh, The Things You Do from, uh, I think her name was Gina. Gina, uh, Gina Thompson. Gina Thompson. Yeah, well, she and Rodney. He, he, he had, he, he had. Come on now. Uh, number two, MC Light. Can't have a top five list of female scenes and not have MC Light on there. Number one, I'm going with Lauren Hill. Bam, that's my top five. J Rock, what you got, bro? 
Why Drew can't go? I can go. I go. Oh, you want Drew to go? Because right, you, you feel like your list is that fire? Yeah. yeah. All right, okay. Drew, you go ahead. All right, honorable Smoke mention. It. Honorable mention. Yeah, whatever. 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 I got to go obscure on my honorable mention. Jackie Perry Hill, man. She's a dope MC out Who of Chicago. The heck is that, bro? She's a Christian rapper. Oh. Poor, but she's also a poet. I got you. I promise you. I got you. Her poetry I blow your mind, but she just put out a, uh, she put out one of her first albums a couple of years ago, and it, it's really dope. So she I can even, Google her, Jackie Perry Hill. Jackie Perry Hill, man. Right. Real dope album, and just dope MC in general. All right? So, coming in at number five, what do I got for my number five? Coming in at number five, I've got Eve. I don't, I was, I, like I was, Eve. I was going to, once she said the brat, I was like, I knew I missed somebody and I was going to replace it, but I'm going to stick, stick Pit with it. Pitbull in a dress. That's what they yeah. called her, right? So, I'm going to go ahead and keep, keep it with I Eve like at Eve. number five. I, like uh, I got Foxy Brown coming in at number four. Can she hear you though? Yeah. Wow. That's messed up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got Rod Digger coming in at number three. MC Rod L- Digger? Yeah, I do, uh, man. I do. I, I had a, I had the album, a couple of albums, and I I thought she actually had some skills. Man, she, she had that heat on that cowboy yeah, song. With, uh, she sound like she, with she always sounds like she's throwing Hill up going back and forth. Yeah. Her voice sounds like she's in the middle of throwing up. <laughs> I'm just yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm with you. I had number two being MC Light, but my number one, I had to put Queen Latifah as number one because yeah. I feel like you really got to put you her. Kind of have to. Yeah. I forgot about Queen yeah. Latifah. As crazy as that sounds. Yeah, because I watched The Wiz the other night, ah. and that's why I thought about her. We, hey man, why is it that black folks go in on on black musicals? Why do black folks not like black musicals? That's I don't just know. black Twitter for you. Well, that, yeah, we black, like, Twitter, black Twitter don't like nobody. nobody. Let yeah. me explain something to you. Yeah, like we don't ever really want to get famous because black Gabby Twitter would Douglas. have their way with us. They don't like <laughs> nobody. Yeah. They went in on the Wiz. Then you had they some did. folks that, why is it an all black cast? I'm like, really? Are dude? you serious? Who said that? No, there was some tweets where they black were going, Twitter. this is racist. Why is the Wiz? Why is this? Oh, all my God. Yeah, they no, didn't know. They didn't know. They oh, didn't know. Oh, oh, precious. They didn't know, precious. They didn't know that the Wiz <laughs> was a movie, uh, play from the 70s. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get your puppet. What's your puppet's name? Officer Big Dog. We're going to have to get Officer Big Dog to explain this to those people because that to. they special. Yeah. Like, they didn't know that the Wiz is a black movie. They didn't know, man. They had no idea. And so next they should have had, but see, here's the thing. I feel like they should have had Nipsey Hustle take <laughs> instead of Nipsey Russell. <laughs> I'm 100 percent sure Nipsey Russell didn't pass away, but if, but I feel bad I mean, if he you did. Might wanna, you might want to Google that real quick. Yeah, let's not just put show. that out there. <laughs> Nipsey Russell is an icon, man. Him and that peanut I, brittle from Wildcats, man. I think what? I think he, Nip- di- he died in 2005. I, that's right, what I that's thought. What I yeah. Thought. yeah. Woo. <laughs> 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 What's wrong with us? Ooh, we don't man. know our history. All right, top five. No, go for J-Rock, it. you want to go last? Go ahead and go last. No, I'm going to wait for Mike. You want to go, Mike? Hey, man, I would <laughs> mess with him if I were you. Uh, my honorable mention, nonchalant and sugar tea. Oh, 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 oh sugar, sugar tea. tea. Sugar okay. Tea. Sprinkle me. Okay. Uh, number five was Eve. Okay. Number four was MC Light. Okay. okay. Number three was Missy Elliott. Okay. Number two was Little Kim. Okay. All right. Number one, Nicki Minaj. Okay. Stop. Okay. All right. Let's stop right there. Okay. How Let me explain how, something. Okay. Oh, Let me wait, take the hood. So, up, Queen right. teacher don't get on your list, but, but Nicki, Nicki Minaj, Minaj does? does? Yes. Explain yourself, sir. Explain yourself. Okay. What are you, 12? Yes. No. No, like how yes. you know, we talking about we talking about rap, and this is we talk, This is this is my ever, list. This is, this is my this life. This is my life. This is my life. Now, now, this this is my life. now this is my do you life. see what I was list. talking about yeah. earlier when you hopped on me? Yeah, I got this. You. Is why we gotta stay because we gotta keep him in line. Because he's gonna pull off. Like I can say, brother Lynch, because people expect that. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? But come right. on, man. He gonna use he gonna this use his life. This is my life. This is my life. This is my list. Number one, but number one, no, for real. Please explain to why she's number one. If we if we talking about rapping, and this is my opinion, when Nicki Minaj is rapping and not that eh, 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 you know yeah. that Care Bear you know pop stuff, she's real gutter with it, and I like that. That's what I like when okay. she's rapping. When she's rapping, she's so she's the better best. than MC Light. She's better than MC Light, in my opinion. Hey, your opinion sucks, sir. I do not agree with that one bit. I agree with everything on your list except that one. It just I seems mean, too I, soon. It seems too soon. Just like Steph Curry was too soon with your list last week. Brother. Oh, you remember that, didn't oh, you? Oh, yeah. I yeah. remember it, brother. And <laughs> hey, how did I explain that to you, though? You was like, you going off of what he's going to do in the future. He could tear his ACL tonight. 
Why would you wish that on that brother like that? No, I'm that? just saying. What, I'm like, what about Isaiah? What about Magic? What about John Stockton? Oh, so you're going to be like me then, right? Cousy? You're yeah. going to be like me? Yeah. You're gonna be like say me? Bob Cousy? Did we yeah. say Bob Cousy? <laughs> no, we didn't. I said he's one of the best point guards. Oh, so you want to be like Raw Dog? Like, everybody want to be like Raw Dog now. Okay. Nikki number one on my list. Well, whatever, man. You just trying to be like me. That's okay. Are you? Oh, yeah. big old copycat. We're going to give you a chance <laughs> later on. To... He won't. He's stubborn. Look at him. I'm going to bring Mike back up in here. That's you know what else happen. he's stubborn about? What? Being a Cowboys fan. Oh, yeah. yeah. With this whole show without talking about my Cowboys. They didn't play a game. <laughs> we got Nothing our... is happening. Leave them alone. They're okay. going to beat the Redskins on uh, Monday, and that's it. You hope. Okay. They you are. hope. Hide the steam. He's going to take us to a victory in D.C. You're talking about uh, Matt. Hide and steam. That's what we're just going to leave it at that. What's his name? Hide and steam. What's his name? Matt. Hide, hide and steam. Just leave Matt it at that. Matt Racist. <laughs> Racist stash castle. And what is he? Hot. Hey, you know hot garbage. (laughs) (laughs) But you don't know hot steamy garbage. And I got to say in his racist mustache tone, you don't know hot steamy garbage, sir. (laughs) He puts raw on it. I declare. Like he don't call me ER. He calls it raw. Raw. I declare. (laughs) Why is it raw in my yard? (laughs) I put some in other south. Let me have my lemon ice cream. Get your ball out my yard, oh, dude. Man. Anyway, <laughs> you don't know it until you know Matt Castle <laughs> playing quarterback. <laughs> all right. Oh, so, true. Oh, it don't even make sense anymore what we do. What are we doing, uh, man? So, okay, NFL. All right. Kansas it's City Chiefs. Let's talk about right. Kansas City Chiefs. So, here's the thing. Chiefs got the rest of the schedule that's going to be pretty easy. Now, here's the thing. Being a Kansas City Chiefs fan... I'm telling you this right now. I don't think Oakland is going to be a guaranteed two victories. Most people think they will, but here's the thing. We're talking about an Oakland team that is good. Yeah. We're talking about an Oakland team who has a receiving core that's good. We're talking about a quarterback who is a true Oakland Raider quarterback. We ain't talking about no Todd Marinovich. We're talking about a for real, like, he's the dude that wants us to hit him in the mouth. He's that guy who's like, you really don't want to fight him because he kind of laughs yeah. a little bit, you know what I'm right. saying, if you hit him in the face. So, I don't really know. I, they, I want, if they split them, though, they still got a shot. Yeah, and I think that's the key thing is that we have to split them. Uh, but I really, I think we have to, we have to definitely sweep San, uh, San Diego, yeah. and we ha- uh, or really sweep Oakland. I would like to definitely do both, and that would assure definitely that you know. And I and, and here's the thing: I still hope Denver falls a little bit, but that ain't gonna happen. I guess I don't think so, but. I guess the biggest hey, question yes. everybody said is if they get into the playoffs, will they make noise? That wild card spot, I think that they could probably win their first playoff game in a long time and win their first wild card game, depending on the seeding and who, you know, I believe there's a chance that they can win on the road. I really hey, man, honestly Chiefs got their, they got their fade in their hands at this point. Yeah. Because they got a, they've won some, some good games and they've got a favorable uh, schedule. It's just a matter of what they're going to do with the Raiders. Business. They got to take yeah. care of business, and, man. And when you ask for the general picture thing, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm still where I am with the Thunder right now. That's my team. I, if you tell me to admit it out loud, mm-hmm. man, they going to the Super Bowl, cuz. Uh, of course. Like, what you think? <laughs> of course. Like, but it's like, but I still need, it's still some, some moves that need to be made. Well, you're, there's some concerns. You got yeah. some concerns. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's some, we got to stay healthy. Yeah. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah. What about them Bears? I just brought them up for no reason. Yeah, why did you bring them up? I don't know. <laughs> Anything <laughs> we hadn't prepped that we were going to talk about them or nothing, yeah. man. Yeah, no, I just want to say, well, how about them Bears? I mean, you know, the Bears going to do what the Bears going to do. They they they're not getting into the playoffs. We know that. Cam Newton losing this week. Who they play? It's Cam, uh, New was, Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. Oh no, Cam Newton going to win this week. New Orleans. They're the only undefeated. Is he going team undefeated left? all season? He might, man. I think it's going. I think who's going to beat him? New Orleans tonight. Uh, you think New week? Orleans is going to beat? This week, yeah. No, I think they'll lose to Atlanta in Atlanta. I think it's going to be New Orleans. Because right? they got Atlanta two of the next three games. Okay, so wait a minute, wait a minute. You say it's New Orleans. You say it's Atlanta. Why? Yeah. Why? Divisional games just, they yeah, mean it's something like different. A, it's, it's more extinct with uh, division games as opposed to playing your Indianapolis or Houston. You know, I feel like Atlanta, they're on a five-game losing streak right now, and they're going to be hungry when they play uh, Carolina in a, two weeks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, I don't know. So that's oh, but New Orleans though, New Orleans is I don't know, I'm just throwing it out there like they're hot garbage. That it, they're not playing well, man. No, they're, they're not. Not at all, but that that's who can beat them. 
You, you see can, what I'm saying? You never can count Drew Brees out. He's a proven winner. You know, every, beat my Cowboys this year. Everybody beat Cowboys. Yeah, that's Everybody beat Cowboys. That goes without saying. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> oh, God. So... All right, so that that's our NFL talk. That's our show. But uh, is that our show? That's our show. Dang. I mean, but here's some. Before we close out, I want to get something clear with the with the barbershop nominee. There's there's some there's a beef we got right now. All right, here we go. We got beef. We got we Apparently got a seriously so. beef. Okay, what? I got a serious beef, and here here it is. Here we go. Rocky Four. Oh yes. Let yes, me explain yes. something to you. Yes. Okay. yes. Rocky IV is one of the best movies ever made because here's here's the bottom line. I disagree, line. but go ahead. Apollo Creed dies. His partner dies. In right? the ring. In right. the ring. Yes, sir. And he comes back and he fights this, you know, what was supposed to be, in, you know, impossible. Yeah. Uh, a super villain. You can say that. No, yeah, we're not going to say that. I mean, you that's, know, that's no, what I'll save is. you. You know, I, I know where you're getting. Okay. I know where you're getting. But no, nah. he comes back. And he trains hard. He's in the snow. Now, yeah, sure, it's unrealistic. Like when he was like at the top of that mountain, like, come on. Oh, dude. oh, just that part was unrealistic. Okay, all right. I mean, you know, well, it ain't like he was wrestling, you know, and Thunder doing lips. other stuff. Yeah, come okay, on. Okay, that could really happen. Come on, now. Did we? Did I? Did we not talk about what Muhammad Ali? Oh, oh let me get this straight. Against the wrestler, so training, which that was based training off of. in Russia in the winter can't really happen. No, I'm not but saying a that. Barn, in a I'm barn, saying a barn. him. Beating this super villain that they made up, Ivan Drago. He was a super villain. He was nowhere near realistic. Come on, man. man. All they did was they had a few. Okay, so here's the debate. He's bleeding. He's a man. Well, doggone it. What was he before? He was a okay. cyborg. I don't get it. What about Tyson when he when he lost to Buster he, Douglas? They thought he was invincible. That's true. And he caught one. Okay, we're, At that we're right talking mind. about a movie he versus real life. Okay, here's the thing. You guys are all up on Rocky IV, which I think is kind of ridiculous. Rocky, Rocky four is better than four to, is the better, better movie than Rocky IV. For one one reason. Oh, my God. Mr. I want to throw my mic at you. Mr. T, <laughs> Club of Lane. He but, made that movie. He, he made, made that, that movie, movie suck. That's what he how? made that movie. How? How, was, how did he make the movie suck? Okay. What was, what was the reason? I don't was get it. Was Mr. T not participating in the WWF and other things? Not, but not at that I mean, time. Well, he was acting and he... No, he was, no, not he at that time. He was, no, nobody... He was from the He was a bodyguard. And, he wasn't even... He didn't become... He didn't do all that till after Rocky Three. I thought he had did some nope. wrestling before. That, that. was he his debut. Wrestling after, uh, it was after That was Rocky his Rocky debut. Movie. So don't go there with all that, right. man. But point is, Mr. T. Okay. He had... They set up the same exact image for Clubber Lane that they set up for the next guy. He was this impo- same guy that Apollo was. Yeah. It's the same thing. You got to create. It didn't want no special Rocky super villain. Rocky lost he- the eye of the tiger. Apollo said that. So he took him to Philly. Man, I need to get oh. you. No, he took him to L.A. So, I got to get you back. I got to get you. I got to put some soul on you. Gotta, you can't just go out there and just knock people out. You got to have a little skill. So Apollo taught him what he knew to make Rocky a better fighter. Okay, so you mean to tell me it was realistic that this man's worst, like, not, basically, this guy's uh, not worst it enemy. Wasn't his worst enemy. Well, not worst his enemy. Rival. But, the, but his, his rival. rival's going to grab him up and say, let me train you. Yeah, want to know why? Because Club Leg went after him when they got in the ring. He was like, man, get out of here. You a paper champion. He was like, oh, okay. So he didn't like Club Leg. He said, you know what? I'm going to train Rocky to beat this fool. Yeah, that makes sense. So hold up. This is my thing. Why didn't Apollo fight him? Apollo was retired. Why did Apollo fight Ivan Drago? That don't make no sense. It was for charity. Oh, man. Come it was only on supposed to be mess, three man. rounds. What? Throw in the t- oh, You know what? Throw the towel. Y'all need to, that's what y'all need to do. Throw the towel in because I ain't no. feeling it, man. You need to throw in the towel because you out of line, Rocky man. Rocky 3 is one of the Rocky. best Rockies out there. Rocky 4 made me go to sleep, man. Rocky 4, he was the underdog. He, he was an underdog in the. He's an underdog in every movie he's in. He he fought Drago on Christmas Day. I don't care for man. America. They, y'all, y'all made for Rocky America. a superhero. That was American that pride. And you know what? Everything went downhill after Rocky Four. Why? Because it, it, he, I mean, he jumped the, the shark. Movie, okay. Rocky jumped something. the shark with Rocky Four. Rocky Five suck. Okay. Why? Because Tommy Ryan, Morrison was in because it. Because, because Tommy Morrison. No, Tommy it ain't Morrison. just because of Tommy Morrison. It's just that where was you going to go after he beat the Super Russian? Where was he? Where you going to go? Apparently, he went to Oklahoma. Like, look. Here's the, <laughs> <laughs> here's the bottom line. Rocky Four is a better movie no, than Rocky Three. It's not. And here's what I'm going to say. Okay. Everybody who agrees with me, 
Make sure you leave a comment on the Barbershop 918 yeah, yeah, pages. Yeah. Yes. And, and so those that believe, hold on, hold on. Those that believe that Rocky 3 is a much better movie and makes a lot more sense than Rocky 4, please feel free to leave your comment and tell these brothers that they don't know what they're talking about. Rocky you know what I'm 4. Saying? Rocky Absolutely. 4. What? No, Rocky 3. No, Rocky 4. I say it like this. Rocky 4, it, you know, if you look at sports, it reminds me later on when LeBron was with Miami in 2012. Game six, everything was against you, him going against you, Boston. Hold up, man. Why he are you putting villain. these analogies that don't even go together, man? Hey, listen, listen. When Rocky was going to Russia to fight Drago, he was the underdog. Everybody was against him. It was a pro-Drago crowd. It was in Russia. It was yeah. a, and it was on Christmas. He was fighting for America. I see. He was fighting for America. Why he gave me just a regular box trying to right, get Because we've been living in America. All right, man. we got to wrap up the show, guys. We got to wrap up the show. We got to end it? We got to end it. Man, y'all just. We've been going already an hour and 15 man. minutes. Y'all are just blinded. So, blinded by the lights. <laughs> so, we've got, we got to wrap up the show. That's an hour and 15 minutes. We about to. Man, we have fun when we do this. We get out of line a lot. I mean, like, we get, we forget. You know, like, time just get, yeah, we do get out of line. We do too. get out of line. So, we got to thank our special guest, Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah, man. Appreciate Thanks, it. Mike. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Mike. Thanks for coming through, even though you called uh, J Rock everything but his name. J Lock, thank you for being patient. G <laughs> Spot. <laughs> so, All right, y'all. Let's wrap this bad boy up. All right, man. What you got, man? I know you hey, got man. something special. I know hey, you got something. Delt. J Rock. <laughs> You go first because I got to give him a chance to mess up. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> All right. Don't beg anyone to get on the ark. Just keep building and let everyone know that the rain is coming. Ooh. Wow, that's a good one. word. Hey, don't tell God about your big problems. Tell your problems about your big God. Let's get it, baby. All right. Man, that's that's beautiful. Both of y'all did good. Go ahead, Drew. You got it. All right. Close hey. it out, sir. <laughs> hey, can't drive out hate, man. Only love can do that. We love you guys, and we will hear you next week. Pieces. I said hear you next week. Why did you say that? I don't know. I messed up. <laughs> that was kind of crazy. I, I, whatever. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> You're still mad about the Rocky Four thing, ain't you? Kind of. But yeah, I'm you good. your feelings. It is okay. what it is. We're going to feel different about different things. I just, I know sometimes when I'm right. You know, and <laughs> you know sometimes when you're dude, right. Yeah, okay? and I know when somebody else is dead wrong. Well, something's, something's messed up when you and J-Rock agree on the same thing. No, so. I think it, it's one of those bottom lines, common sense. No, yeah. it's not common sense. Yeah. It's I, okay. think, I don't agree with that. It's sad because you I don't thought we were leaving. Why we not ending the show? I don't understand. Why listen, are we still talking listen. about this? I understand where you're coming from. This no, was your you childhood movie. It's not my You're t- fascinated with Mr. T. Hey, Mr. T I was the man. It. You know, that he was the man hey, to man, you. because y'all in love with a big big. Russian named Ivan Drago. You know, it's like the Vladimir, like Vladimir Kitsch. What is it? What Klitschko. are they? Klitschko. The brothers, both yeah. of them. Yeah, Vladimir Klitschko. Like, he just that's lost realistic, music. though. Like that's they, they were built like that. You know? Mr. T ain't realistic. How many? How many? How? Yeah, he a realistic wrestler. He wasn't what a wrestler. realistic somebody boxer. Uncle. He didn't like a boxer. He like somebody's uncle. He was a security. And Ivan guy. Drago looked like a real boxer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, he doesn't. Klitschko brothers. No, like literally. Yeah, Klitschko like, brothers I'll give were. You an example. They no one ever questioned whether they bled or not. He's, a, he's a man. He, he's, he's bleeding. Man, come on, man. That one line just makes you so mad. It really does. <laughs> I feel some type of way about it. It really does make me mad. That's what I was like. Oh, I just threw my hands up, man. Are we also disappointed before we go to J Rock? You know, I had a battle with Silk the Shocker at the beginning of the show. Wow. Is that easy pickings? Was he just uh, picking on somebody? We should have got Drag on in here. I know he's available. Freestyle King, never been a shopper. I didn't hit the club in a throwback Alvin Harper. And he's still trying. Word. I'm, oh. walk, I'm walking out of here. I'm putting my mic on. I got to drop the mic on that. <laughs> and I'm gone. One love, baby. <laughs> okay.